What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. I got video number 8 here on this Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. It's a 2005. And I've done a couple of videos showing how to make the back side of the car look nicer. Uh, this one's going to be in addition to those videos because I've already done this big panel right here and I did this side too. I did I did over here, but then down underneath you can see that that just looks really bad. And I didn't do it uh, to start out with, but I'm gonna tackle this and I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the process of how to get this prepped for polishing. So I just take a real plush microfiber towel and this is, it says detail spray, but this is actually when it's wash. Spray it into the towel. And then the surface here, I'm just, I've already done this side. I'm gonna start here and just start to wipe them clean light pressure, you don't want to really use too much pressure. Uh, just clean it off there. Okay, you're just lightly wiping that just to get it clean and get it ready for polish. Come on. What's up, puppy? A couple more restless washing here. And this is diluted 20 to 1. And I'm spraying some on the surface too. This is a clay bar. So what you want to do is you want to get the surface really flat. Flatten it on the glass, kind of push it down. You want to spray the surface, and just take the clay bar. Not putting a lot of pressure, you're just going back and forth really lightly. And this will just pick up any additional contaminants that the uh, restless wash didn't get off. Spray the surface, just kind of go across there. pretty much ready now. I got a little hand polish applicator and Adam's hand polish. But you just want to put a you know just want to put a couple of dabs here the you don't have to put too much. But you know you can just spread it in a little bit, kind of butterfly the applicator there. Now you just go to the surface here. So I want to pretty much just do this little section right here. Just back and forth. A little bit of a little bit of pressure, you know, maybe a couple pounds of pressure, one or two pounds, maybe three, maybe four. Not a whole lot of pressure, but you just back and forth, and you can do little circles. This trunk lid has a really thin section right here, and hand polishing is perfect for areas like this. Check. So I can definitely tell there's oxidation that it's pulling off there. Since it's by hand, you do have to spend a little bit more time than you will with a machine. Uh, obviously, your hand just can't move as fast. I'm going to take the same microfiber that I was using to clean, and it's got a more of a short pile. I'm going to take the short pile side and start to wipe this off. Before I only had done this portion here, and now I've done the whole thing, so it's pretty, pretty evenly matched, and I think it looks good. Got my one-step pad here. This is a Rupes LHR 75 Mini, and so it's battery operated. Here's the uh, Adams one-step polish. Shake that up. Put a couple dabs into the pad here. Since I'm doing such a small section, I'm just going to put three little pea-sized dots in there. Kind of want to massage it into the fibers with your finger. This has a little dial here. It's like right there. There's a little arrow that should kind of show you where it is. So like in between three and four. I'm going to go to the surface. Rub it back and forth a little. Alright, once again I'm going to take this microfiber towel, this low pile side. So that's pretty much it for the machine polishing phase. I'm going to remove the remaining residue and take this tape off so you can see the massive improvement that this makes. 
So the right side we didn't polish and the left side was polished. Huge result. Major difference. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video if you liked it and please subscribe.